This is Danny from Gamefront and this is Portal with added reflections, refractions and other RTX bits. Now, based on, on the menu, it honestly didn't look that different. And I don't know if it's working properly, if I'm honest. It should be. You would think it is. I don't know, it kind of has a softer light look about it. Um, but right now I'm not blown away by this compared to regular Portal, but I mean, maybe I'm just mis- you know, you always remember. Yes. Thank you, GLaDOS. Uh, just pausing that for a second there. It's, it's funny how uh, GLaDOS, uh, GLaDOS, uh, she sounds very different at the start of Portal 1. She sounds very different, and she doesn't quite have the um, how do you say the uh, the the joie de vivre, the zest for life that she she picks up in in later missions, maybe if not in Portal Two. Uh, but yeah, I might be misremembering exactly how uh, Portal One looked because this feels very Portal, but also. You can tell, look, you can see the the red light shining through the tube and how it's bouncing off the walls there. Uh, yeah, so this definitely does seem ray traced. It's very, it does, yeah, you can tell, you can tell, you can tell. Look at that button, look at the glass, look at the reflections and, <laughs> dare I say it, <laughs> refractions. This aperture science material events a patient grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. The aperture science weight and a storage cube. I enjoy this. Um, it's bre breathing new life into older games. And apparently, if you have some of the technical know how, you can take the uh, RTX Remix that this has been done with as a demo and make your own mods for older games to add ray tracing to those too. Now I would personally love to see such classics as Star Trek Bridge Commander and Star Trek Voyager Elite Force and Star Trek... <laughs> but you know what I mean, like, if, if you could potentially... Um... I shouldn't say... Go through the portal, of course. Push the button. Ah, it changes the locale. But um, yeah, you. Uh... Oh, I need the, the enrichment cubey. <gasps> I'm trapped. But yeah, if you can in, put it onto some old classics, basically you could just ray trace the whole GOG back library uh, with a, when a chicken dinner, and just breathe a whole bunch of new life into some old. Yeah, because even older games that are. If you ever played or saw, uh, I think it was Quake or Doom, um, had a uh, ray tracing. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. We'll just I think Quake or Doom had like a, uh, a, re a ray tracing release, and um, even though it still looked all like an old boomer shooter, just the extra glossiness of it just just added new life, you know. Perfect. Quick, I can get through. Please move quickly to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Now picture science. So, yeah, maybe, uh, hopefully they release more games with this just built in. Uh, and this is free, by the way, so if you own Portal on Steam, and you have a graphics card capable of the ray tracing, then just go onto the Steam store, search for uh, Portal RTX, and uh, just download it. Job done. It may indeed emancipate things other than inanimate objects. Ooh, hello. Well, that's the way out. 
Portal gun! You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... Good to know. Please Thank you, GLaDOS. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. Well done. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. The Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. Just let that sink in for a second. How fast the maps load on modern hardware. <laughs> it's wild. Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well. Doing quite well. Let's go down and get the cube. Grab the cube. Now we take the cube and put it on the button. Pretty little button. Once and now again, we can go. Excellent work. As part of a required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. That Good sounds work. like a lie, GLaDOS. That doesn't sound like the truth to me. Um, yeah, so I mean, again, I think it would be nice to have a compare and contrast. I wonder if it's possible to to uh, turn it on and off so we can really see. Um, I think there was a special option to, to enable uh, ray tracing. The ray tracing options, what was it? Control and X. Alt and X. Alt and X. Alt and X. So if we turn off... Uh, Ooh, you can change the number of mins and, and light bounces and volumetric bounces and all the bounces uh, and things of that nature. Developer menu. Um, so is there a way to just... Uh, ah, so you can see the subtlety, right? So like direct lighting enabled. So that's, that's that. Um, but obviously there's more stuff like the path tracing stuff going on. Uh, reflex off on I don't know what that oh Nvidia reflex super resolution we don't really want that because I'm sure we can handle portal even with the ray tracing going on uh lighting intensity reset uh I just kind of want to turn it off really so I can see what the difference looks like but uh come back to it in a second let's look at in a room with more lighting with more reflections and indeed, fractions. So if we look at that as our as our base uh, portal room for comparison purposes, uh, and see if is, is it, oh uh, high force high resolution textures. Highlight legacy materials with red f flash red. Highlight legacy meshes. Oh, that's a lot of legacy meshes. So if you turn off enhanced lights and you turn off enhanced messages, oh look at the difference it makes. That's crazy. So the light in this room, like the lighting changes quite. So this is, I, I presume, what it used to look like. Maybe. Although it still looks like there's some stuff going on. But let's just say this is what the buttons used to look like, and this is what the the, the lighting used to look like. And then when you head into the enhancements menu and turn those on oh holy cow i think i've broken things i think i've break it made it i think i did a bad i think i've done a bad oh no ah. i guess it's experimental we should move on to the next chamber quickly Oh, wild! You've got to. Uh, that makes sense. You've got to go and. Um... Wait, what? How do I get up there? Was this was this keeping the? Uh... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dingus. 
It's like dingus. I need to get out of this chamber. It's become corrupted. As part of a required test protocol, what? our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor oh, this chamber was an outright fabrication. I had a feeling it would be. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three. I think two. I broke the game. I broke the textures of the game. Still, it was nice while it lasted. There we go. Everything's fixed itself. Ooh! Now this has got lots of reflections and <laughs> indeed reflections. Uh, this is a better room to test uh, Testing on a testing game. So, uh, go on enhancements again. Turn on enhanced lights. So that's not turning right there, because look at the reflections on, on the last. I just kind of want a way to make it look like it would have done Enhanced asset. Oh, there you go. And that's 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 the button. The enhanced assets button. So this is kind of what it looks like before. Possibly still with some improvements. And then that's ray traced. It's quite impressive, isn't it? It's kind of subtle, but it just makes a lot of difference. Um, that was death. That was indeed a death, but I should remember that because those were weapons in, in Half-Life 2. And I just thought, you know, what's the worst that can happen, as Dr. Pepper once said? The aperture science, high aperture energy, science energy balls. The left of the chamber can and has unbelievable. You, subject name, here, yeah. must be the pride of subject hometown, oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> I love that bit. <laughs> I say that to people all the time. You, subject name, here, must be the pride of subject hometown, here. Reflections and refractions. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the aperture science unstationary scaffold to reach the chamber. The aperture science unstationary scaffold. Have you ever seen something as wild as the aperture science unstationary scaffold? I wonder how ray traced lighting works with portals. Do portal do ray traced lights travel through portals? That is an interesting question, isn't it? I wonder if there's a way we can test this. Maybe in the next chamber we'll try and find out. But yeah, it's it's so this portal, everyone likes portal, but it's just been given a nice um, ray tracing facelift. And they've also, it seems, uh, overhauled some of the textures and assets and models uh, to give it a bit of a HD remix. Um, any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Followed by death. I would think the death bit would be more important. So when the ball travels through the portal, do the lights reflect through? They do, because look at that. They do. Nice. That is, ah, that's good. See, no, it's, it's good. I mean, I, I guess it's kind of basic stuff, but it's good. Done the right thing here. I think I have. No, oh, it's bouncing. Ba -ba -bam -bam -ba -bam -bam. I think what we do is we let it go through there, let it bounce back the other way, and then hopefully we've lined that out correctly. We did not. But it's a game of trial and error. 
Nice. Good job, me. Now, the trick is to put a portal there. So we can get over there. So we can put a portal there. So then go over there. Oh, it's me. You can only ever see the back of yourself for obvious reasons. That's not strictly true. There might be a situation where you can get the side profile, maybe. But apparently the main character in Portal is called uh, Chell. And she's a fully represented player model, obviously, because you can see her in the old uh, portals from time to time. Um, Very but, uh, Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. She never has a line of dialogue. Which I think is a shame. She's a very unexplored character. Who clearly has a very deep trauma given the amount of testing she's been forced to go through by GLaDOS here. And indeed Wheatley. The Enrichment Center in later regrets games. to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. This next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. What if I put the cube under the hydraulic jack? Bye bye cube! Oh, it didn't, it didn't emancipate. Oh, there it is. There it goes. There it goes. How then? How then? The How now? No, 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 guy. I think you play games with me, young lady. We need to get out there first. Then we can go whoop. To go whoop. Boppity bop. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. I did. It's how you survive at places like Gamefront. How long was Portal? I can't remember. Was it maybe an hour long or something? It wasn't a massively long game, but for what was an extra bonus game on the orange box, which was effectively Half Life. Uh, two plus episodes one and two plus uh, Team Fortress all bundled onto one Xbox 360 disc. It was the runaway star of the show, and I don't think it was supposed to be. Hello but again. I'm very glad it Reiterate. exists. It's me. I guess you can run and get the momentum, right? Nice. Easy peasy. Though. I did not know this material was so reflective. But I always thought it was like padded walls. But now, with the ray tracing on, I can very clearly tell this was brass. Or some other kind of metal. Uh, brass coloured metal. Copper, mate. Well, no, it's brass. It's clearly brass. It's brass. But um, before, before all the reflections and indeed refractions, uh, I just didn't, I didn't know. As you can see, it just looks kind of like added wall. This looks very soft and not really uh, metallic at all. Actually, in this room, the difference is quite stark. I mean, you can tell. Uh, <laughs> it's quite good. Sugar cubes. Oh, that's it. Momentum. Whee! Spectacular. You appear Thank you. to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Indeed. It does not. I can moment in all different directions. Whee! Momentum. A function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Imagine GLaDOS being helpful with helpful information. That's another rarity of, an, of the early portal test chambers. She's not entirely off her rocker just yet. I mean, she is. She's quite clearly unhinged. But, uh, you know, she's still trying to be at least somewhat helpful uh, in this scientific process by giving us hints and tips. Later on, she just becomes a potato and, and it all goes The Enrichment awry. Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. I would love to have this uh, ray tracing on too, though. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. I will 
give it the old college try. <gasps> no! That was not the right thing to do. Beep, beep, beep. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. This game is so heavily based on Half-Life 2, it is still called, in this version, HL2.exe. And you can tell, just the deaths and everything else. This is effectively a glorified mod for Half-Life 2, which has become glorified in its own modded way for having ray tracing on. It's such an interesting thing, isn't it? I'm sure you're not at all bored to death by this. Um, line of conversation. Uh, how does this work? Will the will the shiny thing come out of the shiny thing? Ah. Ah, we could we could get in that room though, right? Wow! I just obliterated myself through my own carelessness. Try not to die. Just look at the way the light kind of bounces around the rooms and stuff. It's, it makes it very nice. I, I'm a big fan of ray tracing, if I'm honest. I know some people don't really see what the big deal is, but... If you're a bit of a realism whore like me, just the, the way light behaves in ray tracing is just far more fascinating than just the traditional ways of doing lighting in video games. Um, hopefully just by good virtue, the, uh, the thing will end up in the right place eventually. We will see. There we go. Oh, well this needs to shoot first. Shoot! Huh. I guess I'll take that away. Let it expire. Because it's probably easier if it's bouncing around in here to then send it on its merry way when we are indeed good and ready. So we'll wait for this portal to open back up again. So next time it starts to move, we'll put our portal in place. There we go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Nailed it. Now that platform moves, therefore, we can just get on it when 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 everything lines up. In a second, I think. I hope. <gasps> Ta -da! And now we'll get the orange portion of our portal run so we can control both portals. And then the fun truly does begin. Oh, there's a, there's a switch over there. Subject hometown, here. More valuable than all of the objects in subject hometown here. Well, the joke is on you, so-called lad, so-called os, because I don't come from a town, I come from a city. How would you like them apples? But yes, it would be amazing to see Portal. It would be amazing to see Half-Life 2 remixed with ray tracing, frankly. Because Half-Life 2 is, a, is an astonishing game. 
that Morgan needs to play for sure. And um, it holds up surprisingly well, given its age. Let me tell you for free that from for a game from 2002, I think it was released, maybe even earlier. It's it's it was. I remember when it came out. I was like, wow, this is pretty stunning stuff. Even now, I look at things like the water in in, in uh, Half-Life 2 and think that's. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, <laughs> I see worse modern indie games. <laughs> I see worse modern AAA games. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 pretty good. Um, but if you throw ray tracing into the mix, Half-Life 2 would be on another level. We would be absolutely cooking with Cali gas. Is that it? Oh, it, it, is it. Put that there. And there. So I'll put the uh, other portal back at the bottom and do another flying leap. Still there. Useful. Off we go. We. Now we have our cube, which we can now place on our button. Don't fall! Ay, 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 ay. We can now place in our boot on, which unlocks the door. So now we can just jump again <gasps> and nearly die. It's fine. You can, there's no fall damage in uh, Portal 2 or Portal uh, because. Um, oh, I found a secret area, I think. Uh, maybe secret area is not the right word, but am I supposed to have been here? Seems unlikely. But, um, yeah, uh, what was the saying? Completely lost my train of thought. Yeah, Half-Life 2 with ray tracing. Make it make it someone make it so. It's clearly doable because we've already done it for this game. Just copy paste. Copy paste the files. <laughs> someone copy paste the files. Now that you are in control of both portals, you can now move forward. This next test could take a frame rate chuggy ch chuggy ch going on there. If you become lightheaded from thirst, there's a lot of what, reflecting and refracting going on in this chamber. An associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic sal and adrenaline. Nice. It's my f two favorite things. How do I retrieve my cube? I would like my cube. Let's so so that needs to go there. And that needs to go there before we do anything else. Because that's going to get the platform down or moving. So we can potentially retrieve our cube through some creative falling. What a time to be alive. And then we can then obviously place this on one of the buttons. Might as well do this one, because there's already a portal there. Bippity bumpity boo. Now one merely needs to get on the That button, fire a portal through. As Off part of you go. Required test protocol. We can no longer lie to you. When the testing is over, you will be missed. Missed. I will be incinerated. Oh. <laughs> you can be incinerated in this game if you if you don't play your cards right. But that's just dying in the game. All subjects intending to handle high-energy gamma leaking portal technology must be informed that they may be informed of applicable regulatory compliance issues. 
No further compliance information is required or will be provided, and you are an excellent test subject. Excellent! How did we get that cube down? Confused by this test. Is it about momentum again? Is it is it momentum? Nope. Well, it might be if we go from there and then we go through through, through all yellow. Nice. Good job, me. Now we just need to take our uh, weighted cube. Over yonder to Das Bouton in order to open up the door and claim victory for the home 11. Nailed it. These three tier test chambers. Wild stuff. Is this a platforming section? I see here. Who needs platforming when you can just simply avoid the problem? Simply not avoid the problem, because now I've got to get myself across here without dying. <gasps> I waited too long there. Too long indeed. Oh, you have to click a button for some reason in order to res respawn back in. Well, that's handy. It's got checkpoints. I don't remember it having mid-test checkpoints. Not complaining, like. Boom, boom, shake the room. I said, boom, boom, shake the room. Boom, boom, shake the room. I said, boom, boom, shake the room. In a minute, before we end the video, I'm going to uh, turn up all of the options as high as they'll go. See just how many lights we can trace. And just how much my poor graphics card will take. Ooh. That was a mistake too. Wow, what a what a absolute What an absolute Let's just do it in this room where there's clearly a lot going on. Uh and then we'll call it a day because we've all seen Portal before. We don't need an hour. Uh, and I do encourage you to, if you do have the compatible hardware, uh, to give this a try. Because again, it's free if you own Portal. And who doesn't own Portal at this point? It's been given away pretty much for free. Uh, so just as a reminder, that's no ray tracing. That's, that's how it used to be, I believe. And that's with ray tracing turned on. So, again, reflections. And refractions, but apparently, if we go on the so what we've got in general, we don't. So, again, I don't want DLSS, stop it. I want to blow up my computer. Uh, resolver max primary interactions, more please, more please. Oh, what, how high can it go? How high can you go? Free video memory, Direct translucent shadows. Indirect translucent shadows. Transparency thresholds. Maximum. Maximum bounces. I don't know if any of this is having an effect. It all just looks the same to me. Enable Russian roulette. What does that mean? Just kind of adding a bit of variance into the way lighting behaves. Maybe? I'm, I have no idea. What does the uh, radius do? Immersive intensity. Ooh, look at that. That's just adding some brightness to proceedings there. Increase the radiuses, the, the radii. Uh, max history length. Who knows? Bump him up. Bump it up. 
Volumetrics. Make it all the volume. I don't think there's much volumetric clouds in this, but. You know, is that light conversion? Oh, that's bad effect. I don't know if I'm making any difference, material difference at all, really, really but I mean, I've apparently. Uh... Oh, yes! That. That's as high as they go. Oh, oh, oh. It's still a frame rate. Like, it's still quite working. But it's definitely not a good frame. What are we on on the frame rate right now? Is there a frame rate counter in this? I would argue it's in the tens. Maybe like 15, 16 FPS. Uh, for maximum ray tracage, but you, the difference is minimal. So it's so you know it's quite well optimized the way they've done it. Because uh, I can't really quite tell the difference. Like if I turn it back to defaults, uh, using the hopefully reset settings button. There we go. Uh, no, you yeah. There's 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 a difference. Like that's that's definitely not uh, not as reflecting as it was a second ago. <laughs> so I mean, fair enough, I guess. Um, you can ra you can race uh, what you can trace as many rays as you want, but I wouldn't recommend it. But the defaults are quite nice. The effect is quite quite pleasant. So that is Portal RTX. It's a free update. Well, it's a free additional. Um, game slash kind of a mod it's on steam anyway so if you just if you own portal and you go onto steam and uh, search for it you'll be able to download it for free uh if you don't own portal you need to buy portal first and then you'll be able to go onto that page and, and download it and uh yeah thanks very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe